All right, Ceridon is the world's uh, leader in body armor. The company's hoping to win a military contract for the next generation of protection for soldiers and Ceridon's uh, new combat vehicle, uh, the Bull, we were just talking about. Now, the stock uh, is up almost 50% in the last three months, uh, but the high on the stock is double where it is right now. So what a year. In a first on CNBC, uh, first on Squawk interview, Joel Moskowitz, uh, Ceridon's chairman and CEO. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you very much. Good to be here. You're all over the place, uh, Joel, in terms of uh, the things you make. But, uh, I mean, you're in medical, uh, dental implants, uh, solar energy. Uh, but the most important thing still to, to the stock price is probably um, body armor or, or potentially this vehicle, the bull, right? That's absolutely correct, particularly the body armor. What happened? Was there a delay that caused the stock, the most recent sell-off in the stock in March? Yeah. That's exactly right. Um, there, uh, there was an order. It actually had been delayed, the bidding of it, for almost a year. They had five, five delays. And uh, that's next generation armor to stop a new uh, threat in Iraq. And uh, they delayed it sufficiently that we felt there could be a three month gap from what we're producing now, which is called ESAPI, and what we anticipate we'll be producing, which is called XSAPI. It was sufficient that uh, we've had a pretty good track record of meeting our projections. I, uh, I reduced our guidance at that time uh, by about 7%, and the stock took a real hit. Yeah, I mean, that was it back in early March. Yeah, that's where, right. Where do you, is now, are you back on, on plan, on schedule for when you would get this order? Yeah, I, I believe uh, that uh, the uh, order will be placed late this summer. And I think there'll be uh, multiple uh, vendors, and I think we'll get the lion's share because of our track record and uh, our capacity. It's a, what they call a best value order, and uh, clearly we, we're, we're the leader, dominate uh, body armor. Okay, so also important is uh, your, uh, one of your partners is Oshkosh to, to build something called the Bull, right. which is a a vehicle that's covered in your ceramic armor that, that actually protects against these projectiles that, that are, that are armor-piercing, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Uh, we have a team, there's actually three companies. Oshkosh builds a chassis, and we have a company in uh, Washington, Ideal Innovations, and Ceridine makes the cab in our facility in Michigan. This vehicle, Joe, is really phenomenal. There is a threat now in, uh, in Iraq, uh, Americans have gotten killed as recently as a few weeks ago. It's called an EFP, Explosively Formed Penetrator. We were asked by the government to develop this about a year and a half ago. Uh, we've never had a penetration. These things are really lethal, and our vehicle is by far uh, effective against this, and including Oshkosh has a terrific platform. It's called the MTVR. It has independent suspension, so that means it can go off-road. So we're sitting here now, and we hope uh, that we'll see some business on this. Who's your competitor, and, and when do you know whether you, this is the, the winning uh, consortium? The only other award for what the government now calls MRAP2, we coined the phrase the bull, uh, is uh, British Aerospace. They gave two contracts, Ceridine Inc. and uh, British Aerospace. We delivered ours in uh, early this year, late December of 07. Uh, as far as we know, there was uh, the uh, BAE vehicle uh, was delivered uh, maybe three months later. So they've done some very, very extensive testing on our vehicle, and we, we really have a terrific uh, product. When will we know who, who's the one? Probably the end of July. Okay. You know, probably the end of July. Uh, uh, we're very anxious. We've told the government that we're prepared right now to move on this immediately in our, uh, in our uh, Michigan facility. Oshkosh can make these like there's no tomorrow. It seems to me, we talked off camera, so I know your answer, but it would seem that a McCain win would benefit your company more than an Obama win. You don't well, think it matters? No, I don't really think it matters too much. We, 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 have, years, we actually now have support uh, for the first time. We're getting a little bigger than when I first came by the show. Right. So we do have people in Washington, and I can tell you that there are senators who have written letters both on the Republican and Democratic side. Uh, you know, people have seen some of the major errors, some of the uh, uh, terrible things that happened early in the war with upgrading yeah. uh, vehicles only to have them tip over because it was too high center of gravity, doors that don't open because they're too heavy on a hill. 
and uh, they are concerned that we go forward. And as far as I can tell right now, it's on both sides of the aisle. Also, on body armor, for example, it's not so expensive. This isn't, right. you know, an aircraft carrier or a nuke, you know, worrying right. about Soviet missiles coming exactly. on. This is, you know, $2,000, you save a soldier's life. Exactly. Although if, if Obama decides to try and end the war, if he's in that position, wouldn't yes. that mean less business coming your way? Well, anything is possible, Becky. The government uh, has determined pretty much they want every soldier to be protected, whether it's the reserves, National Guard, active duty, or guys back here in the States. I don't see that changing no matter who we have fielded. That was one of the major issues. When we sent uh, soldiers into Iraq, uh, and then we started calling up reserves and National Guard, and they, as you remember, the press really... Uh, really uh, chastised uh, the government saying, we're sending guys in, we have an armor system, why don't they have it? Right. And that shouldn't happen again. All right. Are we talking about upgrading or are we talking about giving soldiers that don't have any some armor? Most of the soldiers now have armor. What's happened, which has happened, you know, you can, you know, the story sometimes we say in, uh, in academic speeches, you start out, you know, you threw a rock and the guy stopped it with a shield and then he had a spear and then he had you know, a long bow, et cetera, et cetera. The same thing is happening now. We started out stopping what was called uh, uh, <clears throat> ball ammunition. Then uh, the insurgents were able to get armor-piercing ammunition, and now they're going to probably get another round, which is even more lethal. Each time, you better be able to stop it. And so, Serenite, the spec is, the specification, we have to have a stop a bullet at point-blank range, 100% on the first shot. Wow. And we do. Great. We do. All right. Thank you. Uh, great to see you, Joel. Appreciate Good to it. see Good you. Luck. Godspeed. Thank you. You're welcome. When we come back, it's a big day. Uh, it's a, after the big buy for Ingersoll.